Good morning, Southwest Florida. This is the Naples Herald Morning Report. I'm Janelle Simmons. Today we have an update from the ZombieCon shooting, an adventure event right around the corner, a local fitness coach, and more. Today is Monday, October 19th, and this is the Morning Report. Chaos broke out Saturday night at the downtown Fort Myers ZombieCon Festival. There was a shooting leaving one man dead and five others injured. This event was expected to draw in a crowd of 20,000 people. People dress up as the undead and come out for zombie-themed activities and fun. This is the second shooting in downtown Fort Myers in less than one week. The four gunshot victims were taken to Lee Memorial Hospital and are being treated for non-life-threatening injuries. The victim who was killed in Saturday night's ZombieCon shooting was identified as 20-year-old Tyrell Taylor. The suspected shooter is still at large with no arrests being made yet from the incident. Anyone with information is asked to call the Fort Myers Police Department or Crime Stoppers. Bring your running shoes and kayaking skills. The 5th Annual Adventure Race at Rookery Bay on November 11th will be a test of fitness and fortitude. The race features a 3K kayak route along Henderson Creek and a 4K trail run at the Rookery Bay Environmental Learning Center. New to the event this year for those who wish to remain landlocked is a 5K trail run. Participants will receive a t-shirt, post-race refreshments, Rookery Bay Reserve water bottle, free admission to the Environmental Learning Center, and entry for door prizes. Awards will be presented to the top finishers in each category, the categories being men, women, relay, tandem team, and surf skis. Online registration for the race requires a $40 donation and space is limited. Participants must register online. We have a fitness coach right here in the Naples area. Anyone who's ever tried to lose weight knows it can be a struggle, but 24-year-old Mallory King, who is a Naples native, uses her quest for confidence in weight loss as a way to inspire others. King offers online coaching where she creates customized macros and calorie breakdowns for clients and provides them with workout plans, resources on how to get started, and advice about how to stick with it. She says the majority of her work is online and has clients across the globe. Go check her out. Population growth in Collier County will lead to a change in how many residents go to the polls next year. According to the Collier County Supervisor of Elections Office, growth in eastern Collier will add two new voting precincts for the 2016 elections, starting with the primary elections in March. A precinct which covers Golden Gate City will be split into two, while Ave Maria will be split off from Immokalee into its own precinct. In addition, three more precincts will see their polling locations change. 17,500 voters will be affected by the change. Voter information cards will be mailed out ahead of time of the elections to confirm precincts and polling locations. And just a few weeks after holding a campaign kickoff event, Florida House candidate Brian Donalds has seen a huge fundraising boost according to the state finance data. To learn more about the fundraising, check out Naples Herald. Florida Southwestern State College about to get a lot more active. The local schools Collier Campus recently entered a partnership with the Greater Naples YMCA to offer group wellness classes for students, staff, and faculty. Not only can they enjoy fitness on campus, but on site at the YMCA. As part of the partnership, they'll be providing a special discounted rate to the newly rebuilt facility. Looks like FSW is getting fit. That was The Morning Report for today. I'm Janelle Simmons. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.